What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Wanted to get into this Vaporesso Target. They did a Target 200 and a Target 100. I have, for the last five days, been using the Target 200 with their with their pack-in tank. They're calling it the I tank. And despite the name, it's actually a pretty great tank. Although, it's not even the shining star of this kit because, I don't know, it's a sub-tank, you know? It's fine, it uses the GTX coil heads. If you like the GTX coil heads, chances are you're gonna like this tank. To me, the real shining star of this kit is this Vaporesso 200 watt dual 18650 device. It's so small and so slick. Look at that footprint. That is a tiny little dual 18650 footprint. It's got this incredible sort of like, I don't even know, texture? It feels like a material, like a jacket or something. It's a little bit squishy. It just feels real nice. The button placement is real nice. The screen has been impressing me. I've been using it in the fit mode, which I don't even know what fit mode does. It doesn't say anywhere what fit mode does. It's just a really nice vape. A 0.24 at 45 watts in the fit mode. Gives me all the power I need. The coil heads feel rich, dense, flavorful. I do have kind of one, one singular gripe with this whole kit right now, but we're not quite there yet. What we're gonna do right now is set up the 100. This is the single 18650 version of this. So let's slide down, let's set this up. I'll show you all about the 100 and the 200. Then as we do, I'll meet you back here in a few days slash week slash whatever to wrap this up and hand out some actual banana stickers. Let's go. <clears throat> all right, boo, shee here we go. We'll take a look at this thing. This is the 200 and Man, let's take this sub tank off of here and just appreciate this mod for a second. This is gonna be a callback to my gripe, but there it is. It's that raised 510 connection. It makes no sense to me. It's a 24 millimeter diameter on a topper that you could easily fit 30 millimeters on. I don't know why they did that raised 510. That is a huge bummer of this device, but it's got a huge rad clicky fire button. It's got a really pretty screen. I like that big wattage, just being able to see that. Like public bus seat material. That's how I would describe this. It's a little bit rough to the feel, but it's nice and textury and squishy. Literally zero battery rattle in any capacity. It's got this boop trap door on the bottom that I haven't really like, you know, hang on. Get out the whacking block. Oh, there it goes. All right, so the whacking block was able to pop that battery door open. The sub tank itself is bottom airflow, press fit O-rings. It's a slide to open, but it's not really a slide. It's more of a pivot. Thankfully, you do not have to take the drip tip off to fill it up. But let's get into this 100 watt. Wrapped in the world's strongest plastic, all right. And a boop. Spare coil head, your tank with a coil head pre-installed and then the device. Peel. Got your 18650 adapter on the inside. Same trap door, so I'm assuming I'll be able to knock this one open as well. But it's a single 21700. This single 21700 regulated device honestly feels smaller than some old 18650 mech mods. It is a tiny tiny little footprint of a guy. I mean, substantially smaller than any other 21700s out right now, honestly. Uh, so the menu system should be exactly the same. Wow, that battery is really dead. No battery rattle on this little guy either. Let's take a quick look at this screen. Apart from enjoying this display, I don't really love this chip. If you press this menu button once, all that comes up is a warning saying, oh no, you did it wrong. You have to press it three times or you have to give it a long press. So we give this a one, two, three, and you can go through all the modes. The FT mode, I don't think anybody knows what the FT mode does. The pulse mode seems a little gimmicky. It mentions consistent wattage output, which kind of implies that it doesn't otherwise have consistent wattage output, which is weird. The VWM mode is their simple mode. If a new vapor can just plug a tank on here and roughly adjust the wattage, it'll give you a much better vape. And then DIY mode is where you can finally set either variable wattage, variable voltage, or bypass. And then when you choose either of these, like variable voltage, it'll let you choose the medium 
medium, low, and high, so we'll just leave this on the medium. Alternatively, you can just press and hold this and then use the up-down buttons to cycle through the exact same modes. I like the big battery level indicator and I love the huge wattage, but the interface of this chip leaves a lot to be desired in my opinion. Well, unfortunately, I already had a dangle clack and I filled up the tank, but I did want to show you this top fill system. It's a pushback, but it's not a push, it's a pivot. So you kind of push it back where that arrow is, but you have to twist it off. It's fine, bleh, you fill it up, and then you twist it back on. It's a really old, outdated design. I saw this in 2016 and didn't enjoy it then either. Also, this battery door on the 100 just loves to be open. Sometimes it opens when I set it down like that, which man, that is really a shame. So look, we got these going. We got the 200 with the 0.2, we got the 100 with the 0.4. I'm gonna keep using these as I do and I'll meet you back up on top in a few more days. It's been seriously over a month now since I started the video for these Vapresso Target 200 and 100 devices. And here's the thing, I keep looking at them through rose colored glasses. I keep like ignoring the little things that annoy me about them and are objectively bad like, the doors on the bottom, man, they're just not great. The 200 can knock open pretty easy and the one op 100 can knock open by setting it down too hard. That is really the largest gripe of this. I like the screen, I don't love the interface, I love the GTX coils, but I don't like the top fill system on the tank. The problem is when you twist it back on, you want it to feel, you know, snug. So you twist it back on, but if you keep twisting it, you're actually gonna start unscrewing this housing up here, which you should not, not, not do, because that messes everything up. It's reverse threaded. So if you're tightening that back down, down, you can also tighten it too far and then just open up your tank again. The airflow is good. The flavor is good. It is crispy. It's dense. Now there's going to be some vape budget hands involved in this because the Taro 200 kit is going for like $90. That's nine zero dollars So that's, that's definitely some vape budget hands there. When I take an objective look at this kit, the GTX coil heads are the real shining star. I don't care for the platform. I don't care for the weak door on the bottom. I don't care for the interface of the Axiom chip, although the Axiom chip is nice and powerful, nice and snappy. I legitimately have no idea how many banana stickers to give this. I'm at a loss. I don't want it to be so predictable. Like it's gonna fall into the fine bucket again, isn't it? Get ready, hold on to your suck puppies. I'm gonna say it's better than fine because the GT GTX coil heads do kind of rule. And I will say, if it had a little bit more solid of a door and no little platform on top, this Vaporesso Target 200 could could have become like a, a, a daily banger for me, like in line with that Aegis Legend 2, the Boxer, the Hexome, I don't know, I can't think of any regulated mods right now that I that I really bang on. Argus GT, it kind of would have been those. I love the feel and the footprint and the texture of this so much. And I like the GTX coil head so much. I think that's where we're gonna land, four, Solid banana stickers. Few things could have made this a five, but it's still firm, it's comfortable here in the top of the ranking. Ranking, banana stickers. Just be aware of the little things and you should be just fine and this is what rambling looks like. So I'm gonna say this, youth vaping is down over 60% for the last two years. That's according to the CDC's National Youth Tobacco Survey data. I'll have that link down in the description below. So no matter what's in your hand, you guys, Absolutely, let's keep on vaping. They're just good coil heads. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 